Hello, my name is Yvette Young. I am the Associate Vice President of Programs and Advocacy at the Village for Families and Children. The reality is that uh, Black individuals is a part of American history, and so it makes sense to me that they're a part of Connecticut history. Um, there are tons of there are a lot of individuals um, in Connecticut history that are African American um, that were born and raised here, and those who migrated here uh, from the South, and they played a critical part in the history of Connecticut and in uh, the life that we all live now and know now. There are many activists and many individuals who shaped our society and our community. So to talk about the history of any state or any nation, you must talk about the contributions of Black individuals in those communities. One of the individuals that really stand out to me that I wanted to share is Mary Townsend Seymour. She was born in Hartford, Connecticut in, nine, in 1873, um, and she died in 1957. She was a, a female activist um, for her time. Uh, she was one of the Black suffragists in the state of Connecticut um, who worked with the national movement in 1919 to ensure voting rights for women, but also wanted to ensure that Black women were included in that dialogue and that Black women also receive the right uh, to vote. And so she motivates me because activism is a huge part of what I am passionate about and the work that I want to do. And to see a figure like that in such an early part um, in our American history and the fact that she was so successful in all her ventures motivates me to want to continue to do the work that I do to advocate for the civil rights of those that um, continue to be disenfranchised in our communities. The one thing that I would want to see change is for the passion of the people to create equity, to continue, and for it to move from just vocalizing a disdain towards a level of hate and uh, discrimination to actual action. I want people to stay woke. I think that's in summary, what I would say, I want people to stay woke. I want people to realize that the work is continuous. It's hard. It requires a lot of commitment. And as long as we each play a part and as long as we each contribute a bit of what we have to offer, change is possible. So as a Black woman who lives in Connecticut, it means a lot to me because it means celebrating the ancestors that came before me, celebrating the people whose shoulders I stand upon to be able to have the privileges um, that I have currently as a Black woman um, in this country. And so for me, it's personal because it is my history. Um, it's the history of Connecticut, but it's my history as well because without women like Mary Townsend Seymour, I wouldn't be where I am right now. I wouldn't have the ability to vote. I wouldn't have, you know, the ability to have a voice and to continue to advocate for what is right and just. Um, you know, surging through my blood are the, the legacy and the ancestry of those Black individuals who fought before me. Um, and I want to be a continuation of that work. Um, so Black history in Connecticut, Black history in this nation is the foundation upon which I stand.